Hey guys, I uh, just want to share with y'all what I'm up to uh, during the winter months. I went through all my beehives. I got one that's not queen right, the rest are. So I'm probably going to combine that one with the other probably next weekend. It's fixing to turn off cold. Uh, I figured I'd take advantage of this warm day to get out in the yard and, and do some cutting. You see my saw right there. Um, this right here is a uh, uh, some matey nukes I've made up. So it's got just some masonite. And see there's a groove I cut in there with the router right dead center of the router table, quarter inch. And that will slide down in there like that. You know, the whole piece will go all the way across and it'll come all the way up to the to the top here. So I'll have it above the above the frames even. Uh, but you can see it's routed flush right there. And I routed this edge in there with a three quarter inch router bit. And then same on, on the side here. I routed that so that I could uh, create a rabbit for it. And this is just uh, it's just shelving board. I went to a local hardware store and bought. It's eight inch shelving board, which comes out to seven and a quarter. I just took some three quarter inch plywood, which made it a little heavy, I think. And I stapled both directions. I stapled down this way and stapled down that way. And I glued, so it's glued and stapled. Um, and I'm gonna try uh, what JCB's uh, was talking about doing with PEX pipe. I'm going to put one in entrance here, tilt it down a little bit, and then one there, tilt it down, and then cut it at an angle to try to keep hive beetles from getting in here. This is so small that it could take it over. And so what I got here, I made a frame feeder, and uh, so I wax dipped it. Um, it's just in a pot, just on the stove. You don't have to have anything elaborate. Uh, I heated it up. And uh, well, I stapled it first and then dipped it in the wax, poured wax on the inside, you know, multiple times and just left it sitting in there for a while. And uh, uh, basically made sure it held water because the whole water definitely holds sugar water. Um, probably what I'm gonna do on the next batch is probably take a little piece of cloth right there and go around it with a little piece of cloth so that way you're know, just like stopping up a bathtub with a washcloth that water will get in there and swell it up and stop it up so i'm still gonna wax dip them i was gonna wax dip my whole boxes but i just hadn't had the time here lately so this is what it looks like you can see it's just uh i just cut on my bottom piece here I just cut uh, with the table router, just three quarter inch notch, three quarter inch notch. And then same thing for the rest. And then staple down, staple down. It's not holding a lot of weight. So uh, what that does, so as you can see, measured out the, measured out the board. And I can tack that around and let the bees climb in through that little gap. They'll climb into that little gap and go in there and get their get their sugar water. Um, works pretty good. Glued and uh, glued and staple, and it gives them a little bit of bee space in there to get around. As you can see, there's plenty on the bottom. Uh, now my frames. I'm gonna make those just a little bit make those thinner I'm gonna try to get so the feeder plus uh, probably three frames see right now I can go feeder in uh, one two three that's pretty tight so I'm gonna try to get a fourth fourth frame in there so what I'm using for that is just some old rough cut wood and I'm not even gonna plane it or anything. I'm just gonna cut it very similar to 
to that, ride a little edge on it to where uh, it'll sit on the frame rest, sit down in there and staple it up same as I do my feeder. But instead of being, being so wide like that, I'm gonna make it a little bit thinner. I'm probably gonna make it three quarter inch. Let me get my tape measure so I can give y'all some measurements. I know I'm gonna get a bunch of comments asking what are the measurements. Let's see here, tape measure. I don't have a tape measure handy. Um, anyway, it's, this is a, at least about an inch and a half is what the, what the feeder is um, on it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, uh, make some legs to come off the end here. So it'll be like a, a upside down V. And then I'm gonna make it so that it stands up about yay high. So where I'm not bending over and working with it, it'll be up off the ground. And those legs coming off at a V like that will make it so that it'll just stay up off the ground. And uh, just trying to think about my back and making sure that I don't hurt my back. And for a lid, I got laminate plywood, uh, three quarter inch. And it's just gonna sit right on top like that right there. And so that's a two way mating nuke. I just, I just tried the man lakes and I just don't, I think they're too small. And I uh, reached out to Bee Weaver and talked to him because I saw one of his videos where he used a mating nuke like this. And he actually sent me an old one. And uh, it was very kind of him and just sent it over to me. And so that I could have the dimensions and I measured it and I basically copied his, his design. I've seen it in some other videos, but his, they have the, the legs coming off the end to raise it up so you're not bending over. So if you have a hundred of these to do, you can just walk down there with a box of bees and dump the bees in there with the cells and uh, have a hundred mating nukes uh, at waist height to working. So anyway, please like and subscribe. If you got any questions, uh, uh, you know, or comments, I'll, I'll try my best to answer. Let me run here and get a tape measure that way I don't get a bunch of questions about that. Stand by one second. Okay, I'm back. So for my lid, or I'll start with the frame, probably the best, best place to start. Okay, so this is the frame feeder. I'm gonna turn it this way. So the frame feeder sits in there, it's almost eight inches, it's seven, seven and three quarters side to side on the outside on the inside it's a little more than six and a half and the height of the side pieces that you cut five and a quarter just give me five inches and then the thickness of all this is three quarter this way and one and a quarter that way. Now this is for the feeder, um, the feeder that I'm that I made, and uh, let me give you the measurements of this piece right here that cuts out. 
Now this is just masonite. Put the rough side on the inside so the bees have something to climb on. Smooth side on the outside. See it's rough on one side, smooth on the other. Okay, so it is eight inches by five and three quarter. Now I'm not I'm not a big carpenter exact person, you know what I mean? The bees don't really care if it's a little bit off. Uh, so on the box dimensions, so for this end piece that I cut, it's nine and a quarter. And a little more than nine and a quarter. A little more than nine and a quarter, almost nine and a half. And then uh, the depth of it is, like I said, just a standard board which is it's hard doing it with holding the camera so seven and a quarter I didn't have to cut the height at all I just took that one piece and routed around it's a quarter inch dado for a quarter inch and went all the way around the ends on that one piece so this one piece gets routed around this other piece doesn't and then for the bottom I just took a piece of Three quarter inch and stapled that on there. I think if I had it do over again, I'd probably do probably half inch. So no need to have it so sturdy on the bottom because it's not sitting on the ground, it'll be sitting up high. So, like I said, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll be glad to answer them.